it was always a good bet for 10,000 years, you know, that if your grandfather grew corn in a field, your, his granddaughter would be able to do the same. And that's just a sucker's bet now. I mean, uh, you know, um, it's gotten, it's getting routinely too hot to grow crops in a lot of places. And when it isn't, or too dry, we also see these big increase in very extreme downpour and deluge. And that's no good for farming either. So, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna be a magic act to try and keep enough food on the table for a population as large as ours. Yes, the organic content of our soils has dropped a lot. People around the world are discovering, and it's very good news that the agronomists bring us, that uh, crop yields are at their highest on small farms, often with very low inputs of things. Uh, you know, we replaced a lot of human labor and human skill and judgment with fossil fuel over the last 50 years. And bringing back some of that skill and judgment and some of that muscle work too um, uh, will result in higher yields on smaller farms. And that's good news for everybody except Cargill and ADM. The agriculture industry produces large quantities of greenhouse gas emissions because the agriculture industry, the corporate agriculture industry, is essentially an extension of the fossil fuel industry. You know, uh, synthetic fertilizer, fuel for traction, and then the energy to move the resulting commodity food thousands of miles around the world. These, are, these add up. Um, that's why it's very good news uh, that we're starting to see the reaction. You know, that local food is the fastest growing part of our food economy. That uh, uh, that last year, for the first time in 150 years, the USDA said that there were more farms in America, not fewer. That's a very good sign. Now, whether we can keep it going, uh, it's, it's, it's hard because every time Congress passes a farm bill, they help the biggest corporate growers and hinder the smallest community farmers. But people's desire for real food and good food at the moment is kind of trumping that, and that's magnificent to see.